we'd sell a number of golf balls, and then those golf balls are all loaded into the Stanislaus County Sheriff's helicopter. We have a target. That helicopter takes all of the balls. Everyone is assigned a number. Those balls are numbered, and then the balls are dropped from the helicopter, and we have 13 different winners, as you can see behind me. 10 $100 winners, two $500 winners, and one $1,000. And the event is basically organized in order to generate funds for our ministry, Faith Home Adult and Teen Challenge, where our goal is basically to fund people and generate income in order to help people struggling with life controlling issues. All of our enterprises and income generating abilities events had been canceled due to COVID and so we had to come up with an idea. We thought of this ball drop and our biggest hurdle was really getting a helicopter and that's when the Stanislaus County Sheriff's helicopter was contacted and as soon as he said yes uh, basically the horse had left the barn and we were on our way. Last year we raised over $70,000. This year we're on track to raise $65,000. Teen Challenge was actually founded by David Wilkerson in 1958, and it's a ministry focused on helping teens who struggle with life controlling issues, namely addiction. I actually came through the program in 2009. Um, this uh, program changed my life dramatically. I anticipate it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be lively. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. But generally speaking, I know for all of us that were here last year, it's just a buzz. I've never seen a bird in the air dropping that many balls and it's just exciting. Well, I think we can all agree that was a ball. If you couldn't make it to the ball drop this year and you still want to help out Faith Home Adult and Teen Challenge, you can visit their website. The link is in the description below. Now let's take a look at a word from our sponsors, the City of Turlock Municipal Services and Santa HQ at Vintage Fair Mall. The winter watering schedule is here and watering is limited to one day per week. Even numbered addresses can water on Saturdays and odd numbered addresses can water on Sundays. But no matter the day, there is no watering between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. For more information, visit cityofturlock.org or follow at Turlock Muni on social media. If you like this episode and you want to check out more, head over to studio209.tv and be sure to subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at 209 Magazine. So for all of us here at Studio 209, I'm Angelina Martin, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>